Good morning, everyone. Right, so today we're going to do a quite um quite a gentle class. We're going to um, emphasize it's relaxing and opening, and also some stretching. So we're going to start off um, uh, with you need something like a bolster or a, a, a couple of a couple of firm um, cushions, or you could use some blocks, although. They can be they can be a little bit hard sometimes but if you've got the softer blocks they're nice too so we start off by lying on the floor and then we push up with our feet and then pop the cushion underneath that's usually the better way of getting into that position now you may find um whoops you may find when you're down that your if your shoulders are a bit stiff you might find that your chin is sticking up in the air in which case you want to just pop something under your head to bring your your chin you want your chin pretty much parallel to the to the facing wall so let's just start off with tucking our shoulders under as much as we can and you can just arrange yourself so that where you're where you're um, landing onto your your i'm going to call it the bolster but in your case it might be a cushion where you're landing is it feels nice for you so we're going to just first of all think about our position and notice what we're doing with our rib cage so just be careful that you're not flaring the ribs up so we're letting our rib cage settle down into the back of the spine so the back of the ribs are also moving uh, downward. So you're not pushing them down, but you're just not li lifting them up. See if you can feel the difference between those two movements. Okay, so let's just start off. We're going to catch the right knee. I'm just going to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. We're starting our Ujjayi breath as we breathe in, taking the breath in through the front of the throat and as we breathe out, taking the breath out through the front of the throat. Feeling how the shoulders soften down onto the mat. So you can think about relaxing any tension you might be holding in the back of the shoulders and the back of the neck. Okay, and then we'll change side. So we're just hugging that, that left knee. No need to bring it all the way up, just wherever it feels comfortable. But with the leg that's staying on the floor, just check that you haven't flopped your knee out to the side. See if you can keep that knee pointing up to the ceiling. Thinking about where you're in contact with your bolster or cushion, try and let that contact descend. So you're giving your weight more to, to your cushion or bolster. Letting the breath come into the body. Nice. And then carefully bringing uh, that foot down. Just check we've got our feet even again. Now let's bring our right knee up again. This time we're going to catch inside our leg and see if we can catch the around the um, foot. Now if that's not happening, you want to use your belt, which I don't have near me, so you just have to imagine a belt. 
So you can hold on to your belt and then see if you can stretch through that leg a little bit and then release. And then again, exhale, just stretch through that leg a little bit and release. So let's do that a few more times. Exhale, stretch, inhale, release, exhale, stretch, inhale, release, exhale, stretch, inhale, release, exhale, stretch, inhale, release. Let's do three more and a stretch. Release, stretch, release, stretch, release. Lovely. And then bringing that leg down. Now you can just give it a little shake if you if you like. If it feels like it needs that, great. And then bending the knee again. So we're going to bring up the other the other leg. I'll just get my belt so I can show you. And then again, we're going to catch inside the left foot, catch around the instep. And if it, that seems quite far away, you can use your belt to catch. And then as we exhale, we're going to straighten, inhale, close, exhale, straighten. Now watch what's happening Oops, to the right knee. Try to keep it parallel. And keep it pointing to the ceiling. So exhale to straighten. Inhale to close. Exhale to straighten. Inhale to close. Oops. Let's do three more. Nice, and then release. And we're bringing that leg down. Okay, right, let's take both the knees up now. And we're gonna cup our hands around our knees so the fingers point down. And then take both hands in and just catch or just touch where you can in the legs or if you can, if you're very flexible, you can catch the feet. And then we're just going to exhale, stretching out. Inhale, heels back together, feet back together. Exhale, stretching out. Inhale, back together. You can just have your hands on your knees if that feels better. Exhale, stretch. Keep the shoulders tucked under. Inhale back, exhale stretch, inhale back, exhale stretch, inhale back. Let's do two more. Lovely. And then just bring your knees back together and let's just uh, you can bring the knees to the chest, just wherever you're comfortable. For me, I like it. my knees a little bit further away and then I get a more, I get the nice feeling in my, uh, in the base of my back, base of my spine. So we're just going to hold this, relax, tuck your shoulders under. Breathe. Just check that you haven't uh, tightened around your shoulders, keep that soft. Ideally, if your feet, if the soles of the feet are pointing down towards the floor. Lovely. Now, 
keep your right knee where it is, but we're going to just stretch the right arm and stretch the left leg. You can maybe bring your right knee slightly closer to your, um, to your chest as you do that stretch. So it's a diagonal stretch across the body. Keep your shoulders tucked under. Just gonna hold for a moment. Three, three. You might feel a little stretch through the hip flexor. And both knees back to start position and then leave your right knee where it is. Stretch through the right leg. Le sorry, leave your left knee where it is. Stretch the right leg, left arm. Diagonal stretch through your body. Holding that stretch. Just watch you haven't lifted the back ribs, you're not pu pushing them up towards the ceiling. Just keep that softening through the through the uh, front ribs, the, the lower ribs. And then let's change sides. So we'll just alternate that a few times. Stretch, really stretch that, the straightening leg, stretch through the opposing arm, the diagonal arm. The more you stretch that straight leg, the more you'll get, get that little feeling of stretch through the hip flexor and change side. Stretch away. So you can have your leg floating, the, the straight leg. Breathing. Let the breath into your body. See if you can stretch that leg, Kirsten, that's it and change. If you find it a little bit awkward to have this knee floating, you can always um, hook, hook some, a belt around, around your knee uh, to help you have something to hold on to if, if it's not really working using your hand. So we're doing a posing. Lovely, and then release. Okay, now let's do same side. So it's the same thing, but we'll do same side. So left leg going and left arm. Now really stretch. So this time you can let your left heel drop towards the floor. You'll feel that stretch through the hip flexor. Let's just hold that and breathe and soften into the hip flexor stretch. Mm, tuck the shoulders under. See if we can just relax. We hold a lot of tension in um, our the front of our hips without without realizing it. It's connected to our um, flight and fright response. Change side. So we're going now through the right side, right arm, right leg, and see if we can really slide that um, right heel away. And let the heel come to the floor. And there's always that scoop and hollow going on in the core, so you're working through your core. Activating. Really feel that stretch. See if you can get a feeling of stretch through the, the thigh. Great, and let's just do that one more time. So, left leg, left arm. Beautiful. Really send that left leg away. Slide the left heel away. Beautiful. That's nice. Now just watch what's happening with the the back of the waist. I mean, obviously you're off the floor, but just check that you haven't. You're not pushing these ribs up. So soften the back ribs down a little bit. Really stretch through that straight leg. Beautiful. And. Right side, breathing. Can we get even longer through that right side? Sliding the heel away. Breathing, let the breath come in as if you were breathing in through the front of the throat and out through the front of the throat. Lovely, and release. Great, and then we're bringing one foot down, then the other. So tuck our shoulders under again to check that we've got a good position. Both feet on the floor, feet hip distance and knees pointing up to the ceiling. We're going to do a little bit of arm work now. 
well, let's not call it work, let's do arm, arm stretch, arm activation. So if we just make sure that we've got as much space between the ears and the shoulders as we can, and we're also broadening through the front of the chest. So you can imagine it like a smile, that you're widening your smile as you bring your shoulders down to the floor. As you do that, just watch that you don't flare these ribs to keep the ribs softening. We're going to bring our arms up in front of our face and then inhale, lift up to the ceiling, drop your, sh uh, your shoulders, lift up and then exhale, drop down. Inhale up, exhale, drop, inhale up, exhale, drop. Now let's take that into a little circular motion. So we're kind of doing little rotations lifting up, back, down and forward. You might get a little bit of crunching going on. You can soften your elbows to do this. Yeah, okay, let's try the other way. Just noticing how your body's feeling, how your shoulders are. If you can loosen them out a little bit. <laughs> Great. Lovely. And then release. Okay. Right, bringing our arms up again. We're going to cross them over our chest and let's have a big hug. Bring your hands in towards your uh, spine. Feel the warmth of your hands. See if you can feel the, the warmth of your hands coming into your body. Just concentrating on the, noticing the, the heat beginning to penetrate through your skin into your shoulders. Notice how that feels, a nice feeling of connection. There you are. Nice feeling of touch. And then we're going to open out. As we open out, keep our shoulders down. We can let our elbows go to the floor. So you may need to have your elbows a little bit lower than shoulder height in order to get them on the floor. And then if you can, we'll just straighten the arms, backs of the arms and the palms face up to the ceiling and then have a little stretch but stretch through your wrists so if you forget about your fingers for a moment to see if you can lengthen your wrists a little bit away hold for a few breaths And relax. Okay, and then we're going to hug, but this time we'll hug the other way. So we're crossing our arms in the other direction and get as far around as you can. Spreading your fingers and then just holding that position, just bringing your awareness to the heat coming from your hands, beginning to penetrate through your skin, through your clothes, through your skin, into your shoulders, into your body. Just take a moment to really feel that and notice how comforting it is, how, how nice it feels. Lovely, and then release. Great, okay. So we're going to do a few little circles with the arms now. So if we bring, bring our fingers um, up, pointing up to the ceiling, just check that we've, our shoulders are dropped down. So don't have the shoulders lifting up, rather have them down and broadening through the front of the chest. 
let's just have a little wiggle of the fingers, a little shake of the hands. And then just really to begin to shake them a bit more. Shake the right hand, shake the left hand, shake the right hand again, shake the left hand, and then shake them both. So you're relaxing through your, through your arms, keep, keep shaking. It's amazing the amount of tension that we hold in our in our hands, in our fingers, in our forearms, without even realizing it. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Yay, lovely. <laughs> that release. It's quite nice, no? Okay, so um, lovely. So I think from there we're going to, um, yeah, we'll do it this way. So both feet on the floor. Let's just see if we can um, push our feet slightly into the floor so that we're taking the weight off of um, our bottom so we're not pushing down through our, our bottom so much so just put more weight through your feet and if that feels quite nice for you you can keep going and then transfer the weight through to your shoulders see if you can bring your sternum towards your chin Breathing. Watch your knees don't flare out to the side. See if you can keep them pointing up to the ceiling. If that's difficult to do, you just want to widen your feet a little bit. And then we're going to come down, send the tailbone away to place your tailbone back down. And just relax for a few moments. Breathing. Great. So again, pressing through the feet, and just take more, take the weight off of your, off of your hips, so that you can potentially get your hand underneath your body. And then, if that feels okay, go a bit more and start to take the weight back to the shoulders. Breathing. Keep the feet, keep the legs parallel. And then coming down, send your tailbone away, placing your body back on the mat, and then just relax the breath again. notice what's happened in the in the neck and shoulders so if you put any any tension into that area see if you can relax it out and we'll do that one last time third time so feel your feet in the floor press the feet down see if you can just take the weight off your bolster for a bit you can only do it a fraction that's that's fine and then if you can only do it for a second and then you have to drop again that's fine just play with that if you're feeling okay with that, you can lift higher and begin to bring your shoulders, the weight to your shoulders a bit more. So it's feet and shoulders. Hold for a few breaths. And then to come down, we'll lengthen the tailbone away. And then let's just bring our knees back up again. And we're just cupping the knees with our hands. one foot down then the other and we'll lift up again but this time let's, we're going to slide our um, our cushion or our bolster away so that we're on the floor 
And let's do our little um, warm up rotation, sort of activation of the spine. Not, not really warm up, just it is a warm up, but <laughs> we've already warmed up. So we're going to take that right knee and just let it fall out. We bend, bend the right knee, take it out to the right. Take a breath in. As we exhale, let's take that right knee now over to the left and then straighten the leg and bring both buttocks back on the floor again, bending the right knee so it's out at the right, bringing it back into the centre. Roll the knee over to the left, straightening the leg and let both hips come back down, bend the knee out to the right. Bring the knee over to the left, straighten the leg, roll back down and keep going. Using the breath. So see if you can keep both shoulders down on the floor. So it's just giving your spine a little, little uh, workout and also obviously the hip. Lovely, one more. Good. Great, and then we'll change uh, legs, so our, le our right leg's on the floor. So we'll start off with the left knee out to the left, and we're going to bring that left knee over to the right, keeping our left shoulder down, and then we're straightening the leg, and we're rolling back onto both buttocks. Left knee out to the left, coming over, straightening and down. Using your breath, keeping a nice control. You might notice that your the leg that isn't moving, which in this case is the right leg, notice how your heel helps you control that movement. Use your heel to help you get the movement going. Lovely, and then release. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to come up into sitting now. So we, you can choose. You can either roll onto one side and push up or if you'd like to do it the dynamic way you can catch your right ankles in front of your left knee and then just roll up roll up that way so whichever is works best for you and keep keep you safe so we're going to do a few sitting so when we sit down it's not everyone that can get on the floor and have the knees on the floor like a like an Indian yogi. So we live in the West and we sit on chairs. So our hips are not as flexible as they might be if we had a different lifestyle. And also we live in a cold country. And also we've been stuck indoors for, <laughs> for uh, weeks on end. So be nice to ourselves. We're going to get, our, get ourselves nice and high. And I like this bolster because it's nice and firm. And then when you get your hips higher, then if your knees can be lower than your hips, that is the most comfortable position. And you can, if you, if you want, you can come up on a little low stool or a chair. That works better for you. So if I show you sideways, you'll see, if you're sitting on the floor, it's sometimes quite hard to get your spine to be in a straight position in order to do that you're having to work quite hard um, but once you get up on some height then you can hold that straight spine without any effort so that's what we're looking for today sometimes it's good to work on those muscles but uh, sometimes we get the help and support that works for us so let's just, once we've found our nice position, 
<laughs> that's it, Olive. Go, go, go. You can go higher, Olive, if you sit up a little bit higher. So we're just checking that our shoulders are rolled back and down, that we're not flaring the rib cage. So just let the ribs soften back towards the spine. And we're breathing. So in through the nose, out through the nose. See if you can become aware of the spinal column. And notice your sit bones onto your bolster. Just let your sit bones descend down a little bit. And as you do that, feel how that gives you a little impulse upward through the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, with shoulders dropping down. So we're just gonna hold this for a few breaths, a few minutes. You can close your eyes. You get that feeling of the shoulders just dropping a little bit more each exhalation. And see if you can notice the relaxation also coming through your arms and, and hands. Lovely. Okay, and then we're going to just do a little, a little bit of arm um, stretching here. So if we take our belt and if we hold it in our right arm, lift, lift it up and we're going to take the belt down behind our back. So when we do that, we're, we're then going to see if we can bring that um, right elbow to point up to the ceiling. It may be that that's not happening for you. That's okay. Uh, just take it where it can, where it can go. And then this left hand, we're going to reach behind us to catch. And again, the left arm, we're trying to see if we can get that elbow as to point down towards the floor. So just um, what you can manage. That's beautiful. I think what you want to avoid doing is going so tight that you have to then start to um, lose the the uh, line in, in the spine and you can see the shoulders stay on the same level so we, we don't want to do this sort of thing and breathing just breathing in through the nose so you want to catch in such a way that it's not you haven't got if you go too much or go to your very edge and then a little bit beyond the whole position becomes quite um, uncomfortable <laughs> what we're looking for is to start off within your comfort so that you can breathe and then you may find that you can work your hands further up your belt some of you can catch your fingers, that's fine. Some of you won't need a belt. And then just for a moment, think about the, just between your shoulder blades, some of you may have your hand there and just think about maybe bringing the sternum slightly forward. Let's hold for three breaths. Great. 
and then just release that. Lovely. Just release that and then we'll ease out the arms. And we'll go to the other side. So if you find that difficult, then just give yourself a little bit more slack. Cut yourself some more slack. It, don't hold so tight. Don't bind so tightly with it. You want to be able to keep the, the, sh the shoulders parallel to the floor. So you don't want your shoulders changing um, the alignment. So we're taking the belt up with the left hand now. Out to the side. And then dropping it down. So just take a moment to feel how that shifts your body and then thinking about maybe seeing if you can take that elbow more towards the ceiling. But if that's not happening, don't worry. You can think about taking the elbows back behind you as well with having it still um, pointing out to the side. So then the right arm comes to behind the back See where you can catch. And just notice what you're doing with the with the shoulders. So we're keeping keeping both shoulders rolling away from the ears. Noticing the breath. So we're breathing in through the nose. Out through the nose. And like I say, cut this, cut yourself the slack that you need so that you can actually enjoy that position. And then you, you may find that the back of the hand is just between the shoulder blades, but even if it isn't, just think about bringing the vertebrae at the back of the shoulders, forward towards your sternum. And we're going to hold for three breaths. Great. And then release. Oh. And then just ease out your arms. So we're going to try a little bit of coming forward from that position. So for some people, I know some of you are super flexible and you can just flop forward. But you can use a chair. So I might do this sideways so you can see. So we're just going to lean forward onto our chair and see if you can let the forehead rest on something. Now if, we're, if working with bent knees isn't happening for you, you can, you can do the same thing with straight legs and just come forward. Okay, and then let's all go into straight legs now for sort of coming out of that stretch our legs as wide as is feasible. And then again, hinging forward. Just really enjoying the feeling of your breath. See if you can stretch through your heels. Lovely. It's 
So if you're quite far down, if, you, if there's something that you've got in the room, a piece of furniture that you can put your forehead on, then it, it helps you to um, get a feeling of lengthening out from the forehead. And you might notice if you're coming quite far forward that your sit bones, that your sit bones go project back and that helps to bring your body forward. So you can use this as a dynamic pose, working into it, or you can use it as a relaxing pose. And you can alternate, have a little bit of dynamism and then just let yourself relax. Beautiful. So let's now change the cross of the legs the other way. So it, if you just cross the way that's not natural to you, then you, you'll be in the right position. And then we'll just come forward again. Now, if crossing legs isn't working for you, then just stay with your legs wide. You can find something for your forehead to rest on the floor or if, if you're some of you I know can get onto the floor um, otherwise if you can let your forehead rest on the chair or, uh, or have a block on the floor so if you feel the, once you feel the contact with the with your forehead um, on something, then you can think about sending your sit bones back, the crown of the head forward, so you're elongating through the spine, breathing in, but also relaxing the forehead down towards the floor. Lovely, and then we'll take the legs wide again. Find our wide leg position and coming forward again. So just come forward in such a way that it feels nice for you. So you might feel the stretch in the leg. If you feel any discomfort in your back, then ease off. You can use a block on the chair if you want to make that contact dropping the shoulders. Feeling the breath coming in through the nose. Out through the nose. Stretch through your heels, Kirsten. Stretch your heels. Very nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. And then release. Great. And then from there, if you've if you've got a chair, um, if you've got your chairs there, you can then bring your um, cards onto it. If you're quite flexible, you won't need a chair because what we're going to do now is bring the right ankle in front of the left knee and you can just catch your knee without the chair, but it can help to have a chair. 
what we're looking for is to have a feeling um, of stretch in the, in the right glute. At the same time, we want to keep our shoulders uh, and our hips in alignment. So is it, you're making a kind of rectangular, rectangular shape. And we're breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. The chair also helps us to keep um, the alignment. That's it, Kirsten. Nice. Breathing. Okay, let's change sides. So both heels back on the chair again. This time the left ankle in front of the right knee. We're feeling the stretch now in, in the left glute. You may find there's enough of a stretch with your leg on the chair, but if you want to come forward a bit more, just catch, catch your hand the thigh or the shin. And indeed you can use your belt. to bring that knee forward. And we're breathing. So if you can relax through your shoulders. So the only area where you're working is through that left glute. And then release. Lovely. And then we're just going to move our chair out of the way. And let's have our, our cushions or bolster on our left side. We're going to just bring our knees to the chest and let the knees go onto the bolster. As we rotate into the right side. So you need to find um, the right height for you that feels comfortable. So it may be that you want to get extra height. So you want to find a nice position that you're not stressing anywhere. When you take the knees over to the side, you might feel it in the hip. So let's just give ourselves the support we need to do this without feeling any stress anywhere in the body. Just make the adjustments you need so that you've got a lovely position that you can just really soften into as we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, just letting the breath come into the belly. Just notice the, the rise and the fall of the breath. You can always put your hand on your belly if that helps you.
you feel the feet relaxing. Nice, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we want to move our cushion or bolster, what we're using, to move it over to the right hand side. Bringing our knees up and then we're going over and just notice that on one side you might want to have a, a different height. Uh, so suggest that so that when you go on to when you roll the, the knees over, keeping the left shoulder down, you can really relax into it. You can always put the cushion between the knees as well, if that helps you. And we're going to go, just go into the breathing, notice the breathing, and bring a hand on the belly. Allowing the breath to rise and fall. As you breathe in and out. And we'll just let our fingers, our hands soften a bit more, our feet, our legs. Lovely, and then coming back to centre. So we're going to prepare for our relaxation. So we can bring our bolster and put it um, under our knees and have the soles of the feet towards each other. They don't have to be actually touching and then when we lie on the floor, just make sure that, that you have that something under the head if you need it. So just get the height that works best for you. So that your lower back feels really nice. So if I lift up, you can pop some blocks under your bolster. And that gives you a little bit more height and it just makes all the difference to the lower back if you need to relax in the lower back. And then we can pop a blanket. Make ourselves really cosy. You can bring your hands onto your belly if you like just to notice the rise and fall of the breath. So we want to just follow the breath. This time we're not trying to control the breath, but we're breathing in and out through the nose and noticing how the breath rises and falls as we do so.
Bubbling and then just slowly bringing your awareness back to your body, lying on the mat. Ooh, we're going to move our fingers and toes. Stretch your arms and legs. Just have a big stretch. And then we, we can just roll on to one side for a moment. And then from there, we can push up into our sitting. I'm just taking a moment to feel your body, to let everything settle in your body. Noticing your breath. And we'll bring up our hands so that the thumbs are on the chest or on the sternum. Just take a moment to feel the warmth of your thumbs penetrating through into your heart area. Thank you all. Have a lovely day, everybody.